What is going on everyone? How are you doing? I hope you're doing good because it is good to feel good and I've got something very cool here today that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. So one thing that I've been really intrigued by over the years is seeing people doing like DNA tests and finding out, you know, where potentially their ancestry could lie and like, you know, what like their full ethnicity is and also like, you know, who potentially their cousins might be. So what I've got here today is I've got a DNA kit from Ancestry UK and I'm about to do one of those spit into the cup things and then sending it off and then after about six or eight weeks um, we'll find out what the results are so yeah this is this is this is gonna be really fun I reckon I should mention that I've had to I just had to sit around for about half an hour because it does explicitly say on there not to eat drink smoke or chew gum um, for 30 minutes before giving the saliva sample. So, yeah, let's let's get spitting, guys, which is something I thought I'd never say on YouTube at all. So this is gonna be fun. So, it says here um, that I've got to spit up to this black line here, and then, and then from there, that's where they get their results. So, without further ado, let's get spitting, which is something I thought I'd never say on YouTube. This is one thing I never thought I'd resort to doing, just, you know, spitting in a, in a little jar just for some views. But, <laughs> um, I think, like, so just doing this right now, I have this, like, really very vague idea of, like, what my ancestry could potentially be. So, I'm going to say my early predictions for this are, is there going to be quite a lot of British in there? So, I'd say majority of it being English and what my mum was saying just the other day that there could potentially be a bit of Scottish on like her far side of the family so you never know the possibilities are endless I think we're just about there <coughs> that should be enough yeah that, that i think that reaches the line let me see let's see if we can focus on this it will focus no it's not going to focus because it's too focused on my face please focus yep i'm gonna say that yeah i'm gonna say that reaches the line so okay but <laughs> this is what i hate about focusing all right so now what we've got to do is we've got to take this off and then we put this on, which has got like a sterilized thing. This has got like a like a kind of liquid in there to keep it sterilized. So once that's in there, I think the liquid's going down. Yeah, it looks like it's going down. Okay, I think it's gone in. And I've just noticed, I think I've gone a little bit over the line. So, whoopsie. <laughs> okay, so. And so we put the stabilizing liquid in, we've shaped it about. And now this is basically a vial of my DNA. So the potential is endless from here, from now on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my local post office, send this off, and then I'll come back here in about six to eight weeks and then we'll find out the results. Okay, so it's a bit mad to believe that in this box right now is a sample of my DNA. That's It's mad to think about that. Like when It's like when someone sends off, say, like a skin sample or something for scientific research. Like... Look in this box right now with the sample that contains my DNA. The possibilities are completely endless. So, as I was saying, um, I don't know what my full ethnicity would be, but I'm going to say a lot of it is going to be British, like particularly England and maybe a bit Scottish. Maybe a bit, you know, from Wales or something like that. I really don't know at this point. Like, as I say, the possibilities are endless. But yeah, with that being said, let's go send this down to the local post office and then send that off. And then we'll find out the results in about six to eight weeks. So I'll see you then. Okay, so you join me here three weeks later, a bit quicker than I anticipated because usually 
um, the website will say it takes about four to six weeks to get your results, but it's come down a lot quicker, as I say, sooner than I anticipated. So I've brought my mum here today and we are about to review my results. So just before we look into these, mum, what do you think are some early predictions? I don't know, I haven't got a clue. Okay, so I Well, you're not fair, so you're probably not European in as much as like Scandinavian or anything. Oh yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Middle I, Eastern. <laughs> you Middle never Eastern. know. I, I think there's going to be a strong percentage that I'm from, like, you know, around the United Kingdom. Mm. No doubt. Mm. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So. This is where he finds out that I'm not even his mum. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for mentioning that. Okay, so I guess without further ado, let's click this button that says DNA. Ooh. Okay, so, okay, oh, oh, there's a strong percentage that's just come up there. It's not the full thing, but looking onto this one at the side here, it says I've got 341 fourth club cousins or closer. So, so, th that's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting to think that, you know, there's like people that I don't even know who I could be related to. That's, that's really cool, that is. It is cool, yeah. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to discover my DNA story, so... So starting off strong, oh, oh, I saw a brief glimpse there, but starting off first, 71% England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. So I thought that was that was gonna be oh, a strong, right. I think that was gonna be a strong candidate. So I think yeah. these bits that are in like the brighter yellow uh -huh. are bits that like, Mostly. most likely. Whereas like, say, little bit, look, this, look there you've got a small bit of like Northern France there. I could be from and also a bit of um, Northern France there. Mm -hmm. So that's that's an interesting start. And I I say as I say I thought that was gonna be the obvious one. But you're mostly English. Mostly English, yeah. 18% Ireland and Scotland. Well my family's I've got on my granddad's side, so your nana, yeah. her dad, mm -hmm. his family was from Scotland, from Leeds near Edinburgh. Ah, so, but it, it, looking at the green side. Oh, is, oh, Scotland's for me! <laughs> Mrs. Dayfair! <laughs> oh, um, dear! <laughs> but looking at, like, this lighter green, uh -huh. it suggests that I, I've got an Irish connection. So... Well, you do like potatoes. <laughs> we have to go in with the stereotypes. <laughs> so that, I, I think that's a very interesting one. Oh, look at this. What's this? 11% Sweden. He does like that kid and he loves meatballs. <laughs> oh my god, and we know Abba. Yeah. Knowing me, oh, knowing gosh. you. So, oh, oh. You, you said that I, that I wouldn't have a Scandinavian link. Okay. This, this, this proves it. <laughs> can we stop, can we stop the stereotype? So, so, the suggestion here is that I am off, like, <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know what's going into her. <laughs> oh, Oliver Bjorn Walker. <laughs> <laughs> so the suggestion here is that I'm of like Viking ancestry, perhaps. <laughs> um, Hello, Dory. So yeah, but that's that's an interesting thing I'd love to pursue. Oh, come, come on, on, come on, on Dory. There you go. So that's a really interesting Ooh. thought that I am potentially off like, you know, Viking ancestry. Yeah. 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 Well, you, you uh, can see it going on there. <laughs> I can see it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that is definitely something to think about. So, yeah, those it's are... really exciting, isn't it? Yeah, so... I might get mine done as well. Yeah, and then we can then we can look at yours as well. And then we can see we're not even related. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, that's the full thing. By the way, so there's nothing else. That's that's the full thing, and I actually find that really interesting. That, it is you know, interesting. It's, that, so you're not, not no Middle Eastern at all, then? No, no African, or no nothing like that. Yeah, you know, like, I genuinely thought I was I could potentially have like you know I, I was gonna say somewhere in Europe, um, but well, I wasn't quite sure where in Europe. Well, I guess that's where we've all originated from, really. What from the United? What from Vikings? Well, no, we've, like around Europe and that, you know, because yeah. what is it? It's just over two hundred years old, America and stuff like that, isn't yeah. it? So we've got we've come from like Europe or the Thor before yeah. we then started going elsewhere, you know. Yeah, but 
but yeah, but the Viking potential. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that is that. Are, those are my results. I am 11% Swedish, 18% Irish and Scottish, and then 71% English, Welsh, and Northwestern European. So is that French then? Uh, well, not necessarily French. Like well, there is bits of France that you can see in there, but. I be and copper. Okay. <laughs> this is where it all gets confusing, but um, I think you know I'm definitely gonna look into this and you know try and trace back my ancestry because I feel like that's that's a really interesting thing to potentially do. Like this is true because this is this is one thing I've always wanted to do is like you know trace back you know what my origins are and yeah like the possibilities are endless with this case. So but he doesn't like Swede, you know. Mum, yeah. shush. All right. But um, anyway, with that being said, I'm going to look into this, you know, another time and I want to say thank you for watching my DNA results. If you've done one of these recently, tell me some of your um, results that you got and let's compare. Could, so Could be related. We yeah, are, Mum, be. shut up. Yeah. Um, um, anyway, so with that being said, thank you for watching. I'm going to leave you with some advice and that is to always enjoy yourself, stay safe and make the most of every opportunity that comes your way. Thank you for watching and peace. Ciao, Bella.